Today, I'm on Everglades Tarpon, fly fishing the backcountry in the pouring rain. It's one of the most interesting tarpon fishing trips of my life. And I'll show you why, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Familiar Waters and FWFishing.com. I'm Mike Pulaski. Today, I am fishing the backcountry of the Everglades for tarpon. I'm with my good friend, Tony Trad of Tall Tales Charters. He's a captain down there in South Florida. Uh, and I've been with Tony several times and it's always been a great trip. I love fishing the backcountry because it's so wild and remote and this trip is no different except it is absolutely pouring rain. It's the middle of June. We've got that summer thunderstorms coming down and it poured rain all morning. So we start off the day on a little handheld camera because the production cameras couldn't even crank up because they had a dew warning on them. And so early on, big cameras won't start. Little camera has to get it done but we were putting fish in the air so before we start don't forget subscribe give us a thumbs up hit that like button and leave us a comment down below we would love to hear from you you can also go to fwfishing.com for a lot more fishing information at the end i'll talk about fly selection why we chose the flies that we chose for this trip uh, and the colors and everything else but uh, that's coming up at the end so you want to stick around for that right now let's hit the water uh, it is pouring rain we got the handy cam working and we're putting fish in the air Nothing quite like starting out the morning getting waterboarded by your own buff. Right. Right. Here we are. Everglades, baby. I have no idea where we are because for the last 20 minutes we've been running with our heads down because this nice rain <laughs> is trying to give us a artificial acupuncture. <laughs> it's a nice exfoliating treatment, isn't it, Captain? Oh, yeah. My lip feels you're going to have the shiniest forehead ever. As you can see, it's uh, summer in the Everglades. <laughs> this is the rainy season after all. Ooh, boy. A little thunder coming over the top here. A little wet this morning. Um. Bit. Not great. I feel better when we have one on the line. I don't trust Mother Nature. Nah, she douches you every time. Well, at this point, the rain lightened up just a little bit. It's still raining, but the cameras would operate. And so we pulled out the production cameras. I've got fish eating. I got them jumping. And we wanted to get some good footage for the good cameras on this one. And right now, the fish are rolling all around. Carpet fishing is more frustrating than losing weight. 
We've got fish eating, and I've jumped a couple fish too, but I haven't had a good chance to dance with one yet. And with fish rolling everywhere, it's driving me nuts. That, yeah, I saw that whole lineup down there. That. That. Okay. I think they're more right. Okay. Now let's see what we do. So far I'm 0 for a dozen. He's gonna come up in a second here. Hello. He wants to go that way. Go under the boat, go under the boat, go under the boat, put your rod down. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> sort of. That was a king. So far, so good. We've seen a multitude of fish down here. And I have had a rough time all morning. We got another one rolling right behind my face. My fish is coming in and another one's rolling right in the tail. Camera credits too. Oh, pop. Much better, closer. We're getting there. Much better, we're almost there. <laughs> I kept them on for more than 30 seconds. In spite of losing my fish at the end, it was great to get to the fight but the ruckus put the bay down for a little bit. So in the meantime, the rain stopped and we got the chance to dry out a little bit. And then fish started rolling again. There's one, they're back. Watch that line on the push pole. Oh. That's right. Bow when they do that.
Atlas Base. Or snappers. No, oh, it's not. It's a tarpon. Your feet are looped around your. Uh, take a step back. There you go. wants to hang in the hole. Hey, hey, I'm hooked. <laughs> You're gonna run through the hole for it. Oh, family show. Nice job coming tight on him, Mike. Thank you. It was like a snapper hit, you know. But I thought it was a smaller fish that just kept kind of nibbling at it. He was tasting the back of the chicken. That's it. <laughs> He's right here. In a tourney, we reach over and we push up on him and touch that leader he's landing. Good size too for a tournament. A uh, release, you know, a uh, non-weight tournament. Right. He just wants to hang right in the hole. He doesn't want to go anywhere. He's trying. He's, yeah, he is. He's a gamer. He's fighting for his life right now. Well, the problem with that is we've got some bigger fish still up here. I don't want to crowd these fish. That we touched one. <laughs> they trying to knock me out. Get slapped by a tarpon across the face. Do do do. 
Take that, Tony. Wouldn't be the first time. I've seen you before. Okay, you don't worry about it. How about that? Finally put one in the boat. <laughs> that was what, 24, 25? Yeah, let's see. This guy's gonna go about 30 pounds. So that was my waterlogged first morning back in the Everglades. And there is a lot more to this trip coming up. I told you we talk about fly selection. So on the morning, we were using black flies, black and purple, black and red. And a black death, obviously, it's a famous, you know, long time successful tarpon fly, uh, traditional down in the Everglades. And so black death was the first fly we went to on the morning. And the reason we're using black is because it silhouettes better. T water's really tannic. Uh, it's kind of gray in the background, so not a lot of light penetration in the water. You want something that silhouettes real easy. It's easy for the fish to find, so black. We also went with the purple demon, which is a black head. It's got the purple uh, hackles coming out the back, and so another good silhouette fly. And then a black and purple tarpon toad. I love toads personally. They're fantastic bugs. Uh, it's going to be one of those longtime classics for tarpon. Uh, but I tie them with some weight on them sometimes, something that pushes water up front, but will get some depth as well toads are tied to hover but sometimes you want them to get down and so I have some tarpon toads that I tie with weight at the head and that's what we used at the end to try to get into those holes that those tarpon were sitting in so that was fly selection for the morning we change it out when we come back you'll see a lot more of that in the next video we have coming out from the Everglades make sure that you subscribe hit that thumbs up button make sure you ring the bell when you subscribe as well and don't forget to leave us a comment down below because we would love to hear from you you can always go to fwfishing.com for a ton of information about tarpon about trout about casting about everything that you need to learn about for fly fishing if you're new to the sport we've got a ton of information there to help you get better in a hurry if you're an old timer in the sport there might be some new tips and tricks in there for you as well i'm always trying to learn myself so I don't care where a tip comes from. If it works, I love to have it in my bag of tricks. I do appreciate you watching. I will catch you next time from the Everglades. But for now, I'm Mike Pulaski for Familiar Waters and fwfishing.com. And I'll catch you on the next piece of Familiar Waters.